Hi, I'm at my mom's house in Guwahati, and today I'm going to make a very unique Assamese <coughs> sweet dish, but I'm going to twist it to make my mom's savory dish. It's cooked in a bamboo, uh, kind of a hollow bamboo, uh, young bamboo pole, or, or, and it's called sunga. Sunga is a hollow bamboo piece, and it's cooked on a fire. And I'm going to make it with something called a bora sawi. Bora sawi is Assamese sticky rice. And I've had sticky rice across Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Japan, southern China. And I can tell you, they cannot be more sticky rice than this. And it's the stickiest of sticky rice. And this is my mom's re recipe. It's pulao. And we're going to cook it and, 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 and take you through the process. It's a very, very unique Assamese dish. And you can relate it to Thailand, to Myanmar, to, to some parts of Malaysia where they cook in similar style. We'll come and show you this. Hi, so let me show you the ingredients, right? So if the camera person can come closer. So the ingredients are, this is the bora saul, this is the sticky rice. So, be, you know, and it, it also has a reddish color. That's called ronga bora saul, ronga is red. So I've soaked it overnight. Like any other sticky glutinous rice, you need to soak it. So that's been soaked overnight. I've, and remember, this is traditionally had in a, <clears throat> It's a sweet dish. It is had with jaggery or cream or jaggery and yogurt or jaggery and milk. But my mom curated this as a non as a savory pulao. So I'm going to add three green chili finely chopped. This is the bamboo where I'm going to cook. I'm going to put the food inside, cover it with the bamboo or with a banana leaf and then put it in the flame, which will come to the cooking process. And my mom's ingredients used to be the peas. So once it comes out, you slip this bamboo once it's cooked, you remove it and the whole thing comes out and you slice it up and that becomes like a rice cake that you have with any other thing. So that's the ingredients. So we'll come back and take to the cooking process. I'm going to cook right there, light up a fire and the traditional way that is made generally during January 13th, 14th, during the Bihu when the Meiji is lit and that's when the bamboo shoots are gone in. The bamboos go in with the, with the, with the rice. We'll come and do the cooking. Hi, so this is the cooking time. I've lit the fire, let the fire as it goes. Let me show you the mixing. <clears throat> In the mixing, what you're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna take rice, right? Remember, this is a savory dish, dish, peas, and more rice. And I'm gonna put the green chili and some salt, but don't put too much, because remember, you'll eat this with other sav savory things. So just enough to kind of give that little bit of a tinginess of salt. I'm going to put a little bit more peas, a little bit more rice and just mix this up. <clears throat> and then a little bit more rice. I think this should be done with the rice. I've changed my clothes to something like what you typically wear if you're going for camping. Because this is typically done outdoors. So I'm going to just mix it up. It's all mixed up. And I'm going to fill this bamboo with the rice a little bit of water up to here and then close it off with a bamboo leaf which is here again in the house garden and then put it in the flame for about 30 minutes or thereabout hi so we've got horan horan is our housekeeper is a house treasurer is a rock of the house so my mother taught actually taught him how to make the recipe so why try and pretend to be an expert when I've got the real expert. So Horan is going to show you how to do this. So we're going to take shoot Horan from the other side. Now Horan is filling the bamboo with the rice and he'll, that water bottle that you see is also for filling up a little bit of water. It's a very, you have to be very careful how you fill it because if you make it too jam packed, the rice will not cook. But if you do it too thin, it again will not cook. So it has to be in the right, and that's why I've let him do it. Because then you can see there's a fire lit at the back. <clears throat> that's where the bamboo will be put. Now he has filled the bamboo with the rice. He's put a little bit of water. So that kind of helps in the cooking. Plus remember the water, this is a sticky rice. It's already been soaked overnight. Uh, and that's the way. A little bit of water to make sure that it gets the right uh, moisturizer or the vape vapor that comes out and now he's going to just seal it with the bamboo sh leaf that kind of in, you, you can also do instead of bamboo leaf you can also use uh, hay 
But again, remember, you don't get hay in the wilderness. So these are all easily available. So he's going to now pack the top. There he goes. He's going to seal it tight so that no air goes. And this will steam. And he's just going to put it on the fire. There. The only hard work here, again, you sit around the fire in a camp and you just have to keep rotating this thing for about 30 minutes and you're good to go. So we're gonna come back when it's all done. Now you can see that this has been cooked. So we're just cleaning up the ashes before we cut this and uh, take the pulao out. We'll just let it cool for some time, but it's just clearing the ash so that when you break the, when you cut through the bamboo, the ash don't in, get into the way of the rice. This is what you do in the wilderness. You can have duck, pigeon, chicken, mutton, even biryani in Andhra Pradesh, they cook in bamboo, big bamboo. These are not sh bamboo, smaller ones, they're big bamboos where they make biryani. I've seen that. Of course, in Thailand, it's very common to cook in, 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 in bamboo. So, well, we're going to let him do that. And then we'll see, slit it open and take the dish. Hi, so this is the time we're going to cut this bamboo out and take the thing out. So we we'll leave it to Haran to do this. So if our camera person can come closer and focus on how Haran is doing this, I'm going to get on the frame. This is getting the bamboo cut out and you can see that if you can just go closer. Look at that. You can see this beautifully done up thing and let him peel this and that's how you peel it. This is now done and look at the way it's going to be just coming out of the entire bamboo. And you can just cut it up and then you have it. This is all savory, nothing, um, you know, and just it comes out. Okay, one more time. I'm letting the expert do it because I know my mom taught him how to do this. So I can't claim to be the expert here and this is how it comes out, see that. There you go. There you go, beautiful. And now if the camera person can take over. So that's uh, my, from my mom's recipe, sunga pita, as you call it in Assamese. Sunga is, sunga saul, as her corrects me. And that's what reminds my dog barking. And this is what Assamese cooking is about. Very similar, and you know, if you tread the food trail, be it Thailand, Malaysia, southern uh, China, parts of Japan, bamboo cooking. Till I come back with the next recipe, enjoy this from my mom's place.